So if I'm rigging the boat up, I may as well go through it with you. Let me take my glasses off. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is get the mast up. Um, I normally leave the two, uh, the, the port and the starboard shrouds connected and you just undo the, the bow shroud and you can bring the mast down that way. Um, now, it's easy to work out which is the, uh, the bow shroud. It's that one because it's also got this uh, block on it, which is for um, the jib. So we know that goes over there. By the way, I gave these a good old check over, so can't see any problem with these shrouds at the moment. They look good and healthy. And then these, you can see there's a pin in here or staple that I think someone's put in there literally to stop these from moving around. So you know which is your port, which is this one, and your starboard shroud. So that's what we're going to do first. So let's get the... I'm trying not to step on my boom. I'm try and get the mass in. Place. Being careful not to scratch off all my new lovely varnish. You can see here, I don't know what these are called, but I've left the little pins in there. So these just need to hook over those. So we're going to hook those over. So we're going to go do the other one now. So this is a little line that I use. This connects to, I think it's this one. I don't know why I've got two here. <laughs> oh, obviously there's two because of the, you can put the mast forward if you only want the mainsail. But I think it goes on this one. We'll find out. And then that would go through the, the bow shroud loop there. Oh, where's it go? There. And then pulls it tight. But before we do that, we've got to get the jib sheet in the top here. Because if we don't, we can't get the jib sheet in because it's like all the way at the top. So the next job is to get the jib sheet in. So this looks like a jib. It's very, very stony and rocky here. So getting a nice platform for the camera is quite difficult. So first thing I'm going to do, this was my little uh, idea for bringing the jib down um just putting this weight here and it kind of works but it i don't know I, I don't think it's brilliant it is rusting a little bit this as well so what i'm going to do i'm going to just cut this off for now um there are two things i'm going to do with the jib uh the first one is when i prep the boat for cruising i can i'm going to fit a downhaul um and i bought like a block to go here and there's a little block for the spinnaker down there because i'm not going to use the spinnaker when i go cruising and i can pull it down and cleat it off the other method actually when you're just in the lake is to use the um the boat hook and i just haven't had the boat hook with me sometimes because it broke last year um, but now i've got the boat hook i can just sort of yank it down quite easily with that as well so i'm going to get rid of this uh, and now all we're going to do is this unfold the jib this is why tying up your lines is so useful these are tied up properly it's coming undone a little bit but if you tie them up properly then they're a dream to get open this is the halyard for the jib and all i'm going to do for now is um is, is just put this halyard through the pulley so when we put the mast up we can actually grab hold of the halyard i'm going to worry about the jib sheets in a minute so let's make sure we get that the right way as well so let's just do that i'm going to actually cleat this off because i know it should cleat just using the uh the race cleat here just to make sure doesn't come out right so let's get the shroud next job is to get the, the mast up so right you might not see the top of the mast but um you can see going up so there we go all we do oh, just go the neck So 
interestingly, that means the mass seems very. No, that's it. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to go in there then. It's just that it needs a lot of tension to go. That looks good. Okay, I haven't put threaded it through here, but so we're gonna to have to just bring it down. I just want the jib sheets to go through the, the little loop here. It just stops them flapping around. Thread it through that from the bottom from the top down to there. There we go. I got that right. Nope, I've not got that right. The jib's at the bottom. probably could have done that when it was up through the loop and then we'll just cleat that in the racing cleat just to there we go right let's put this back up again I hope my varnish is tough enough to withstand all this I think that's how we go Go. And now, the mast is in. I should perhaps have put this loop around here first. We've got some people down here chopping the wood. <laughs> just doing some of the trees, like I was saying before, some of these trees were just, from the storms we've had this year, were just had fallen over and, and it was just getting manic, this area. Quite dangerous, in fact, so they've had to do it. As much as you, you always hate to see a tree being uh, cut down, you know, it has to be done sometimes. Um, so excuse the noise because uh, we can't uh, interrupt the, the work because we need it ready for the season. Um, I've offered to help as well, but everyone seems to be quite um, happy. So there we go. Right, so you can see that's a lot better. I've swapped the blue and the red lines round. They work, that's how they're supposed to be. But I have rigged to the top, is a bit tangled, so I'm gonna to have to bring the mast down anyway to rig the halyard properly. But that's basically the jib up looking good. Sorry about this, that, that's basically the jib up looking good. So, uh, so it's the boom on next, I think. So the boom that way, yeah. So you can see the sail control and the, the on the end there. I don't know if you can see on this end behind me, it should be upright. And this is where the van or the kicker um, hooks onto from the, from the bottom. So it's the right way up. Let's now pop this in. And just pop the pin in to secure it. Gosh, everything takes so long because you're so out of practice. You forget how the boat moves and how it feels. Whereas I was coming down last summer and having the boat rigged and ready to go in like 10 minutes. Enough. There we go. Oh gosh, I literally gotta give my my arm a rest. <laughs> that's it, there we go, we're in there. So that's the boom in. I think we'll put the gaff in next. 
here's the gaff. This just goes over the top of the boot. Now you have to, you do have to hold it. I've just realised one thing that's actually uh, the gaff halyard needs to go through the top there as well. So this is what happens at the beginning of the season. Uh, you're undoing and bringing things down as, as much as you're doing them up because you completely forgot how everything works. So let's get the mask down. Let's get the halyard for the gaff in. We'll untangle the halyard for the jib as well while we're at it. So mast is down. I've sorted the jib sheets, uh, jib halyard out. Now this needs to go into the from into the f uh, back of the mast and down the front because when you pull on it, it'll pull the gaff up to the back of the mast. So this is uh, the gaff right way up and the gaff halyard. When I can find the end, we'll go up through the back of the mast on the little pulley wheel, down through the front. Now, I think I've threaded this line, this sheet properly. It might be the wrong way round. Uh, there might be a halyard around the wrong way, but we will work that out. So let's now lift the mast again. And just check quickly. Yeah, that looks okay, I think. Whoop. Yeah, that looks fine. So I think we won't need to bring this the mass down again <laughs> he says we'll wait and see I'm, I'm getting some wonderful fumes off uh, Rob's chainsaw at the moment hello mast is on I figured you didn't want to see me grappling with that cotter pin for about three minutes again now we're gonna put the gaff up so you can see the halyards looking good and the gaff, you do need to raise it yourself a little bit. And I think, if memory serves me right, these lines have to go inside the gaff. And then uh, that goes through there. And there's a little pin. And I'm around the wrong side. So I need to quickly, hopefully, go around the other side. And that just goes through this little piece of elastic. to keep the gaff on. There we go. And now we can actually raise the gaff. So let's have a little look at that being raised. And on the mirror, always, the gaff always gets stuck on this little loop here. It just needs a little bit of help. But there we go. Just tie that off quickly. So if I can get the camera up, you can see the gaff is raised in all her glory. So the next job is to get the sail on, I think. Right, time to put the sail on. So I've lowered the gaff and just tied it off. So it's sort of at this nice angle so that I can reach. Um, here's the boom and here is the main sail. So the first job I'm gonna do is put in um, the battens because once they're in, they're in. Then this is then threaded through if you can see there the bottom of the gaff all the way up and it's then tied off at the end there and then all we need to do with the sail is get the tack and the clue uh, 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 tightened in and the main sails good to go With the battens, I think you've got a small top one and the middle and lower ones are the same size, which makes it nice and easy. And they actually go in the pockets like this. 
and then there's a little pocket that pushes them into and then they're quite secure like that that's the top one Let's do the middle I think I've got these the right way round actually I didn't think to I think so because I think these got this plastic piece on the end which for wear purposes is better this side there we go there are those in next job is to thread this in so I'm hoping ah yeah I don't think we're going to be able to do this with the boom oh one second okay I'm going to have to take the thing out and I can't get it in there we go and then that threads up there just nice and carefully because I don't want to damage the sail these sails are in really good condition so I'd like them to stay like that for as long as possible because the sailing wears them out let alone the manhandling and storing and whatnot nearly there A bit there, so I'll pull it from the end. And if you can see that, so that's just tied at the top, and I've just used the reef knot for now. Um, and then this is this is the baggy bit. Uh, a lot of mirrors actually have some eyelets here that tie this into the mast there. Um, you know, mine doesn't have that. Um, I think it depends what sale you've got, what age your, your mirror is. Um, but uh, it, the idea of that is to get it closer, tighter to the mast, so you're not spilling any wind. But to be honest, I've never noticed any difference. So here, that needs to be tied in to this here, so you can then adjust the sail but I've got to work out how that goes because this is the end of the string there so I think I think that passes through the eyelet this passes through the eyelet and then yeah I think you can loosen it with your with this control here the only thing I'm thinking about is that the top of the mast it might be a bit tight at the top of the mast so that goes through here there's nothing else for that to tie to so I'm assuming that will just tie around with a little kind of just check what control we've got on the sail so that's fully open and this is be closed ah, yeah so I think we need to ease the sail a little bit at the top there so I've just adjusted the top so you can see the top of the sail is just a little bit lower and that's allowed me now when you tighten this up the sails quite tight to the boom you don't want the sail to be too baggy because in high winds it's just going to be um, quite difficult to control the boat one sail up and I think this is called the clue the clue is easy you just attached it with the little uh, sh uh, shackle and this will adjust so the lines for this are over here You adjust it like that and then let it out like whoop, let it out like this normally you've got a little bit of wind on the sail and that will let it you can see down there if I pull it there you go and it comes out so you need it nice and tight when there's lots of wind and that looks about right the sail's always been a little bit baggy and overlapped there but I've tried to sort of see if we can adjust this but not really so there you go. You see there's a bit of wind today. Okay. That's the sails up. Um, I've actually just tied the jib back onto the front there. The, I think that's the clue of the jib. 
Is it the clue or the tack of the jib? Next job is the vang or the kicker. And I've made a cardinal sin already because this has to go over the boom. So I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to undo the sail again. So I'm gonna undo the, the, this end here uh, and then slide this over the boom. You can see it's getting quite windy now. I hope it'll slide over this way. And I've just got the other side tied up quite nicely. Oh, just realised something. This line here is going to be inside. But I guess that's okay. I guess that's going to be okay, like that. Okay, so that's that. And then the other side of this literally clips on to the little point down here. So let's do that. I'm quite experienced at undoing my van because when I go motoring, you have to undo this. There we go. And then we've got to work out what's going on here with this actually. So that normally should be like that. Let's uh, just loosen that off as much as possible as I won't be able to get the sail back in. There we go. Ooh, it's a little bit of a breeze kicking up. It's making it quite hard to get this in. Bit of a lull, take advantage. Next job is the main sheet. So oh, I've got to work this out. So it's there's an it's it's knotted around here, so I know that. So let's get that secure just and then this side then goes up into the pulley I don't think it matters which way on this one because this pulley rotates quite nicely or should I say a block there we go and then it goes down through this one now you do have to get this one right because I've noticed if you don't doesn't like it and there we go and then you tie a big knot in the end of this to stop it going through they're just going to give it a nice little test and then what we're going to do is then just make sure when it goes this way it goes through or it goes in this way <laughs> if you don't get it the right way round it's really it's just hard to control and pull and over the course of a so that's nice so over the course of a day that can be quite wearing so let's clean that out that's it so I've got it the right way and then what we do now is tie a nice big knot and I've forgotten how to do my nice big knots Oh, I've forgotten all my knots, to be honest with you, bar a few. So I'm just going to do a nice little granny knot just to stop it for now. It'll probably be okay. That's all it had in last year. Then we'll just double check that won't come through. There we go. So if all else fails and you lose your main sheet, at least you've not lost it. That has happened to me when I was uh, um, quite quite a novice last year where the main sheet just went wee all the way through and the sail was like right out here and the main sheet was in the water and I couldn't reach it um, and it was a bit of a panic but uh, now we learn from our mistakes. Right we're down to the sort of final jobs so first job is to get the, um, the baler in all important baler 
and that just ties around here. Oh gosh, I can't get it through. There we go. Again, we just use a hitch just to tie that on. There we go, that's the baler done. That in there for now. And then I've just got this little line. Uh, and I just use this for generally tying stuff off. Um, so again, I'll put this, that just goes in here like that. We just do a loose hitch. There we go. And I put, I tie things like my water, um, my bag. I sometimes I often put in there just to make sure. Actually, these lockers are really good when they capsize. I've even had my phone when I did my first capsizes last season, and I um, I lost my GoPro. Let's not think about that. But um, my phone was actually in the locker and I thought I'd lost my phone, but it was actually in the locker and it had kept it in there. So they're quite good, especially if you stuff a bag in, nothing tends to come out of there. Okay, and I think we've only now got a few things to do. We can actually put the speedometer on there, my little, my computer, so to speak. We've actually got the capsize kit here, so that's, the line for the, uh, for the um, what they call these lines, uh, writing lines, one for each side of the boat. Um, the other thing we can do is to put the mast float on, the masthead float, which is untested to this day, uh, I might say. Um, I'm also gonna fix the, the paddle in. So I have got clips for this, but I found that it just stays here. If you just put it in here with this little elastic and then shove it in there like this, it just behaves itself and it stays there. So that's that done. Um, oh, and of course, we've got the dagger board and the rudder to put on. So there's the dagger board just goes in there. Now you can see this, I did this fiberglass. I actually need to finish the top of this, but that's to stop the van. So you can now see how the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, the van, if it was coming this way, the van gets caught on here when you're launching. It'll just give it a little bit of extra help. So the mast float is on. I'm sure there's a better way of attaching this to keep it maybe to the side here somehow. I'll probably have to think about screwing something in just to attach it so it's more stable it doesn't flop about but that's okay i don't want it to catch on these because i think it, these could burst it and also i want to put my little mirror mirror flag in here so last job is to stick the rudder on so this is the security line which actually goes onto this little uh shackle here and then the rudder just clicks down hopefully i've put it all back the right way so that's actually very secure and then the rudder secures itself just in case you you know you capsize and the rudder might fall out you don't want to lose your rudder and that just goes there it's actually started to rain it's uh, it's been trying to rain and now it's starting to properly rain so i might have to uh go in the van and ride it out but there is the boat rigged up.